this problem, we want to find the domain of each function. So we got uh, f of x is equal to 5 over 2 over x plus 3 minus 4. Now this is a complex fraction, specifically a complex rational expression, but a complex fraction. And you get a fraction inside of a fraction is what that means. This 2 over x plus 3 is our inside fraction. It's got its own denominator, so we want to set the x plus 3 equal to 0. Now if I look at the outer fraction, all this bottom part is a denominator 2, so we want to set the 2 over x plus 3 minus 4 equal to 0. Now we want to solve each one of these, so this one will take the 3 over, it becomes a negative 3. This one's a complex or a rational equation, so I'm watching a silly uh, lichen movie. <laughs> I should be doing my work here. Okay, uh, I'll multiply everything by the LCM of all my denominators. Well, I only have one denominator, the x plus 3, so we'll multiply both sides by it. Or multiply everything by it. So we'll multiply the first fraction, multiply the negative 4, and we'll multiply the 0 by it. I do that, these x plus 3 is going to cancel. And left with the 2 there. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. 0 times anything drops away. So then we got 2 minus 12, which is negative 10. Now I'm solving for x, so I'm going to take the negative 4x to the right side. It'll make it positive. And we get negative 10 is equal to a positive 4x. I want to divide both sides uh, by the number in front of the x, which is 4. And that gives us negative 5 halves equals x. And we also came up with x is equal to negative 3. Now, um, these are the values we cannot have, so I'll put a slash to them. x cannot equal to negative 3, and x cannot equal to negative 5 halves. Now, if you prefer to write that in interval notation, we'd go from negative infinity to our smallest number, which is negative 3. Union, our smallest number, to our largest number. Union, our largest number, to positive infinity.